everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you some goodies I recently picked up from Ulta, but most importantly Marshalls. So this is the Wet n Wild little mini lip set, lipstick sets and it's originally $9.99 but right now depending on when I post this video these are on sale for like four to five dollars maybe at Ulta online. <clears throat> you might be able to find it in store too but I don't think that my Ulta personally sells Wet n Wild in store. I'm wearing one of these on my lips today. The one I am wearing is, it's metallic, but what's the color? So they, it comes with two metallic and two matte, but I don't, I guess these just don't have a name. So this is the one I'm wearing now. <clears throat> the one I wore yesterday is this one, kind of a cranberry metallic. I'll swatch it for you. And then you get two matte shades. This one I'm really excited about. It's like a deep wine raspberry. That's the matte formula right there. And then this one is like a cool tone nude matte. I'm not sure how much wear I'll get out of that one, just because um, <clears throat> I don't think it's going to be very flattering with me because I'm so pale. So I might end up giving that one to someone else. These lipsticks are so affordable and really good quality. They just stay on forever and you can't beat the price. The next thing I got is the Bare Minerals Star Signs in the Gin Nude Buttercream butter Lip Gloss in Sugar and the Gin Nude Lip Lacquer in Can't, in Can't Even, yeah. So that's what the packaging looks like. They're originally $12. I think I got it for five or seven. It was one of those sales, and here they are. This one is Can't Even, which is the lacquer, and then this one is the Gloss in Sugar. Ooh, I think I'm really gonna like the lacquer because it's so thick and glossy. And then here's the gloss in sugar. That's the bottom one there. I've heard a lot of great things about these Gin Nude Bare Minerals lipsticks or lip glosses, lip lacquers, and I can't wait to try them. This is something else I'm excited about. This is Diamond Dust. I swatched it in Ulta a couple weeks ago. It's one of the Glitter and Glow eyeshadows. I love silver on my eyes so much. And so I had to get this. I used my points on it. Check that out. I don't have any eyeshadow on today because I went to the eye doctor. So maybe we can pop a little bit of this on. That's fun. So it's not professionally done or anything because I'm literally looking into my little viewfinder, but hey, I'm just wrapping presents today. So I got that. I paid full price for that. And then I got these lashes. These are in, this is uh, the Kiss Lashes collection in Boudoir. The reason I got these is because my birthday is coming up. I'm a New Year's Day baby. And I love to get dressed up and go out or just even dress up and stay home for New Year's Eve. And I thought these would look great. I saw someone here on YouTube wearing these. Um, her name's Taylor and she goes by the Taylor. You should check her out. She has a lot of subscribers, way more than mine. And she was wearing these and I thought, oh my gosh, I have got to have those. 
so pretty. I like that they're longer on the outside so it can really help open up the eye. And then last but not least, I finally was able to get this Catrice Prime and Fine Primer. It's more, uh, it's a smoothing invisible pore refiner like primer. And apparently this has been known to be a dupe for the Tatcha pore perfecting primer that is sold at Sephora that's like $50. And this was what, seven, six, five, three dollars. It's Catrice, it's cheap. So I can't wait to try this out. I don't have it on today. <laughs> Like I said, I just went to the eye doctor, so I just put on some powder and went, but that is what it looks like. I want to touch it. Oh, it feels like body butter. Okay, let's rub it over. Let's rub it in. This has been sold out for the longest time in Ulta, so that must mean it's good, right? So I put it on the back of my hand right there. I don't know if it filled in any of those like little crevices, but it feels very, very smooth now. So that is all I picked up from Ulta recently. I put nothing but makeup on my Christmas list. That and a wrestling t-shirt, Undertaker. So if you want me to film a video where I show you what I got for Christmas as far as makeup goes because I usually do just makeup on this channel please let me know um, it would not be in a way it would not be a bragging video or anything it's just to share with you what I got and to share my excitement with using it so if that's something that you're interested in leave me a comment down below all right so let's get into this Marshall haul some of the stuff I can't show because it's Christmas gifts for people but some of the stuff I will show because the people that I got Christmas gifts for don't watch my videos. This is a stick, a candle stick for my dad and my stepmom's dog. He's my little brother. He's a full-blooded East German shepherd. <clears throat> and he likes toys. So I think he'll like this guy. He's just a holiday <laughs> candlestick. And he cost... $4.99, it says compare at $8. Next, I got a Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation in the shade Warm Light 07. And I've been wanting to try this foundation. It says compare at $18, this was $9.99. I swatched it in the store on the back of my hand and it seemed to have, be, to have been a perfect shade match. So, um, maybe I'll wear it tomorrow But it's got I made a mess in the store when I swatched it, so it's a good thing. I went ahead and bought it It's got like this little oh That's why I made a mess. It's a pump. Oh, I'm so smart. I Took off the entire lid No wonder it went everywhere. I'm a genius But anyway Hey, $9.99 for bare minerals with good ingredients. I'm excited. I just did a foundation declutter, so. Crazy. I got this beautiful scalloped tissue paper. I'm about to wrap some Christmas presents here in a minute for $2.99. I love getting stuff at Marshall's as far as like wrapping paper and gift wrap tissue paper goes because it's so affordable and so stinking cute. Look at these scallops, $2.99. Next, I got an Elizabeth Arden mascara for $5.99. And it's got two price tags. The first one says compare at 10. What's the second one say? It means they've marked it down. Compare at 25. So. Elizabeth Arden is definitely a prestigious brand. I hope to goodness no one like opened this up and like coughed on it. But I guess that's a risk we're willing to take. Look at that. Black and red and silver packaging. So luxe. The brush is like one of those rubbery spiky ones with a curve. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
I'll have to wait and try that later because I've got too many mascaras open right now. Next up, I got this medium roast Starbucks coffee in organic Yukon. The price was $5.99, and I got this for one of the teachers I work with at school. I've been bumming coffee off of her pretty much all semester, um, and I just work such long hours, I never get to go to the store. And so when we get back from Christmas break, I'm gonna give this to her as like a thank you and like a payback kind of thing. Next, I got this Metal Crush Eyeshadow by Kat Von D in the shade Thunderstruck. They always have this here at Marshalls. It costs $4.99 and it says compare at $13. Now the reason I got this was because this fabulous woman I watch on YouTube does these TJ Maxx hauls and um, she got this years ago there and swears by it. She loves light shadows on the eyes and she likes to use this as a highlighter and she's kind of pale like me I'm a little bit paler than she is and she just likes to use it for highlight I thought I'd give it a try I don't know how good this lighting is I'm sitting in front of the window it's a rainy day I got my Christmas tree in the back cats are running around but let me swatch it on the back of my hand Ooh. Oh, it's kind of iridescent. Like, I don't know if you can see, but when I look at it, there's almost like a pink in there. That's, ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty. This one just, I don't know what I'm gonna look like at the end of this video. I love getting makeup at Marshalls. You have to be careful though. Always open up the packaging at Marshalls or TJ Maxx and make sure somebody hasn't dug their nasty little fingers into it before you bring it home. This has been a long time coming. This is a lipstick organizer. You all have seen me do my lipstick declutter here on my channel recently, and I think that it's just time to put some on display. I think this is beautiful, really like tough plastic. Um, it says compare at $7. It is a lipstick organizer. So I'm gonna pick out my prettiest lipsticks and put them on display. I wanna get some more shelving and stuff for above my vanity because I'm running out of room. And I am promising, hopefully over Christmas break, an updated vanity makeup organization tour video um, from a year or so ago when I made my vanity from Dollar Tree products. Um, I can say, that the vanity is starting to lean forward, so it's not the sturdiest thing in the world, but we're, we're getting through. Look at how well those matte lipsticks dried down, and even the metallic one. I got these pair of sweatpants for my husband for Christmas. Shh. They are Puma brand. Compare at $50. So, right there. $50, and I got them for $21.99. They have this Puma logo there and the zipper or the little Velcro pouches. They're really thick and fleece, just really good material. But here's what I like the most at the bottom, it's like this little cuff, like a sweater sleeve. So if he doesn't like them, I'm going to be adopting these for myself because these are great. My husband loves nothing more than just lounging around, playing video games, computer, just lounging, watching his Netflix binges. I think those will be perfect for him. I also got him some boxers, but we're not gonna show that. He loves zip up. Still talking about my husband. He loves zip up. And we're back. My camera fell, so are we tilted? I don't know. Ugh. Okay. He loves zip-up jackets. I got this one for him. It's Beverly Hills Polo. It's got the little polo logo there. It's kind of like that material. And then everywhere else, it's like just so soft and fleece. And he loves to wear charcoal. He looks so good in charcoal. And then it's got a hood. So this is perfect for throwing on to go to Kroger to buy me food. Um, the price on this one, it says compare at 18 dollars it's for $12.99 but this tag 
Polo Club says 42. Oh, I had it covered up. 42. This is a hoodie I got for my stepdad for Christmas. It's a Kentucky hoodie. Um, if you haven't heard of Kentucky basketball, where you been? But he loves Kentucky basketball. So I got him this hoodie. Um, it's the Collegiate Collection. It was $24.99. And I don't know what its original price was. Let's see. It doesn't say. But I think that he'll like this. And I like on the sleeve that it has the UK emblem. Here's my favorite part. I love Marshall's wrapping paper. I got this masculine, this masculine, it looks like a sweater type wrapping paper. It's that thick foil texture. This was $2.99. Look at that. I think I'm gonna wrap my husband's gifts in this. This next one reminds me of Victoria's Secrets. Pink and gold. Isn't that beautiful? Price, $2.99. Oh, wow. We gotta get up close with this one. Glitter Christmas trees with pink star toppings on a white back. This one was $3.99. This one is not foiled like the other two. These two are foiled that I showed you. This one is more like actual wrapping paper, but I could not pass that up. I have a lot of nieces. Well, I don't have a lot of nieces. I have two nieces. I have a little sister. Um, I just like to use this cutesy, glittery, girly wrapping paper for them. This next is like a pink mimosa bubbles. Look at the texture on it, so gorgeous. This one was $3.99 and I got this because not, not only would this be beautiful under a Christmas tree, but this is gonna be good for um, baby showers for like little girls, bridal showers, bachelorette parties, someone's birthday that loves pink. So this you could use all year long even though it's technically Christmas. The last thing in the bag I'm not gonna show because it's for one of my nieces and I do believe from time to time they uh, visit my channel. While we're at it, we might as well uh, go through some Bath and Body Works stuff that I got on the $8.95 uh, candle sale. This one is Cranberry Pear Bellini. Oh, smells good. Look at that beautiful red and pink packaging. Smells like cranberries and pears. This next one is Frosted Cranberry. Look at that glitter. Smells good too. This next one is Frosted Coconut Snowball. And it smells, it smells more like summertime. So I think I'm gonna gift this. Well, I originally got it for my mom anyway, but I think I'm still gonna give it to her because she likes soft coconut smells. And maybe this will make her feel like she's in Florida. She's gonna end up being a snowbird. She's gonna get her a home in Florida and go there in the winter. And then I'll show you the one I'm burning now. The one I'm burning now is the hot maple toddy. Nope, it's not. It's spiced apple toddy. The top of the lid looks like this tree. I've already got it burned down this far. It smells so good. I'm gonna light it here in a second. So, um, I highly recommend this one. This one is so good. And I, I keep my coat hanging by the door and Whenever I have this burning and then I put my coat on and walk outside, I can smell this candle on my coat. So pretty good deal there. I recommend this one out of all of them. All right, everyone. So that is it for my little mini Marshalls and Alta haul. I will have more videos to come over Christmas break now that I'm home and not working like a maniac. Um, thank you for watching and please let me know what you would like to see next. Thanks. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever Yuletides you celebrate to you. Thanks, bye. Uh-uh, no, you get down.